Welcome to Thomas and Friends Adventures. Italy. Italy has three active volcanoes, Etna, Vesuvius and Stromboli. means both hello and goodbye in Italian. Now, you try saying it. Ciao! As I was about to leave, Stefano told me the story of the lost engine, who was also a curious engine like me. The lost engine was always on the lookout for adventure, but one day he simply vanished and nobody ever saw him again. Wow, the lost engine. I would love to meet him. Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Faster! Faster than the speed of light! Ah. Let's go! Ah. Thomas was so caught up in his story, he took a wrong turn. He ended up in an old abandoned mine. I called out for help. To my surprise, I heard a voice repeating, help, help. <gasps> it had to be the lost engine. I had found him. When Gina came to rescue me, she made me realize it was just my own echo. I felt so silly. Oh, bother! I was so proud! At last, I had made a great discovery! The greatest of all! <laughs> Lorenzo was an amazing engine! He had the most beautiful singing voice! Lorenzo and I raced all the way back. He even taught me how to sing Italian opera. Three, 
two, one, go! Splendid! Don't be late! Marvelous! visited many countries and seen lots of amazing places. When I first arrived in Italy, I felt as if I had to know everything about its rich history. I pretended to be an expert in archaeology, but I soon learned that I didn't know everything. I even got myself into a dangerous situation. It's okay not to know everything when you're somewhere new. The best way to learn is simply to ask questions. Gina was teasing me. I didn't like it. I needed to prove to her that I could be an archaeo... Archos... Archeo... <laughs> an archaeologist, Thomas. You wanted to be an expert, just like Esther at the museum construction site. And then you saw something shining on the ground. Amazing job! The piano was invented by an Italian named Bartolomeo Cristofo. I love adventures, and most of all, I love to make amazing discoveries. I was lucky enough to travel around the world, and I learned a lot. However, Visiting and exploring doesn't necessarily make you an expert, as I realized when I met Gina in Italy. The Colosseum is the largest amphitheater ever built and is considered one of the wonders of the world. Lorenzo was telling me how he got there when rocks started falling on the ground, blocking the entrance. We had to get out quickly before the mines collapsed. So we pushed on through the tunnels to find a way out. 
We couldn't stop in time to avoid crashing through the wooden barrier. We found ourselves hanging from a cliff over the sea. Stefano was more than surprised. Mamma mia, he said. What's going on here? We were so lucky. Stefano used his crane to rescue us. You should have seen the look on his face when he saw Lorenzo. The last engine wasn't lost anymore. The Tower of Pisa has a tilt due to soft ground beneath it. Yet, it has been standing for over 845 years. Thomas and Gina were working on the Italian railway. She was really passionate about Italy's rich culture. She found it rather amusing that Thomas didn't know such landmarks as the Colosseum and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I was upset by the teasing. It made me feel as if I knew nothing. I know a lot about the world. I visited the Taj Mahal and the Great Wall of China. I had to show Gina that I was an expert myself. This railway is useful and fun! Well done! 